2023 was the gaming year that had it all. Eye-popping visuals, worlds so big you'd need a GPS to navigate, and stories that could make a grown gamer cry. But let's talk about the bosses. These baddies weren't just tough, they were the cherry on top of an already delicious gaming sundae. Let's roll out the red carpet for the best bosses of 2023. First up, Annihilation from Remnant 2. This game might have been the underdog in a year full of big hitters, but wow, did it pack a punch? It's like your favorite third-person shooter went on a date with a Souls-like and had a baby with Returnal vibes. The big showdown with Annihilation? Mind-blowing. Think psychedelic body horror art fest. It's like the game's way of saying, you better up your game, pal. Then there's Luxazia in Lies of P, strutting around like Timothy Chalamet's long-lost twin in a steampunk wonderland. This fight is like a dance with danger, complete with armor shedding and lightning charge sword moves. It's not just cool, it's ice cold. Ganondorf in The Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom. Talk about a showstopper. This battle is like a chess match with swords, and just when you think you've got it, boom, dragon time. It's a roller coaster of sword clashing, sage assisting, dragon battling madness. And who can forget Venom in Spider Man 2? Insomniac Games threw us a curveball by picking Harry Osborne as the host for our gooey villain instead of the usual Eddie Brock. The result? A heart-wrenching bromance turned epic showdown. It's like watching a superhero soap opera with the fate of the planet at stake. Horizon Forbidden West. Burning Shores brought us the Horus Titan, a behemoth that made full use of the PS5's muscles. This wasn't just a fight. It was a cinematic spectacle, complete with running, climbing, and a whole lot of dodging. Ultima in Final Fantasy XVI was the epitome of what a final boss should be. It was like the game's final exam, where you had to use everything you learned to survive an onslaught of epic attacks. And that final punch? Chef's kiss. Armored Core 6 gave us the Ibis Series CEL 240, a boss fight that was like playing chess while riding a roller coaster. This mech was no joke, faster, stronger, and surrounded by a swarm of drones. And the setting? A field of shallow water, making it a no-holds-barred, skill-based showdown. Hi-Fi Rush's Roquefort was a rhythmic romp against a number-crunching old man who turns into a mega wolf mecha. It's like fighting the big bad wolf in a music video, with each phase bringing a new beat to dance or fight to. In Wo Long Fallen Dynasty, facing Lu Bu was like going up against the schoolyard bully, but this bully had a horse and a flaming spear. Even with a couple of legendary warriors on your side, Lu Bu was a one-man army. Lastly, Star Wars Jedi Survivor brought us Bodhi Akuna. This wasn't just a clash of lightsabers, it was a battle of emotions. Cal Kestis had to face his Jedi buddy in a fight that tugged at the heartstrings as much as it tested your gaming skills. And there you have it, fellow gamers and enthusiasts. We've just taken a wild ride through the most epic, heart-pounding boss battles of 2023. Drop your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed our journey through 2023's best boss fights, make sure to like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell to stay updated with all things curiosity. We've got plenty more gaming content coming your way. Until next time, keep leveling up and stay curious. This is Chris. Signing off from Curiosity. Game on.